your prayer tonight for the Lord to be satisfied with you. Amen. Thank you for giving it to the Lord. Pray God to bless you, many fold. Amen. Good to have Brother Don back, Brother Don. You can so kind of present the offering. Amen. Miss you and Sister Mabel and the kids on Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank the Lord for his presence when passing by this way tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sister Amy, would you be so kind to ask God's blessing upon the offering? Try one more song before the pastor comes and leads. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you know a man that can tonight? I know a man that can. Amen. Do you? I can't, but God can. Amen. I can't take a heart that's broken, make it over again. Oh, but I. No man who can. I can't take a soul that's in sick, wash it whiter than snow. Oh, but I know a man who can. Do you know him tonight? Hallelujah. Some call him Savior, the Redeemer of all men. I call him Jesus, for he's my dearest friend. Oh, hallelujah. If you think that no one loves you in your life's out of hell, No man who can. I can't take a heart that's broken, make it over again. Oh, but I, oh, does anybody know that man tonight? Who can? I can't take. A soul that's in sick, wash it whiter than snow. Oh, but I know a man who can. Some call him Savior, the Redeemer of all men. For he's my dearest friend. If you think that no one loves you and your life is out of hand, oh, I know a man who can. I can't walk. Upon the water, I can't calm a raging sea. Oh, but I know a man who can. I can't cause blind eyes to open, make the lame to walk again. Oh, but I. No man who can. Can I get a witness tonight? Hallelujah. Some call him Savior, the Redeemer of all men. Oh, but I just call him Jesus Church, for he's my dearest friend. 
If you think that no one loves you and your heart is out of hand, oh, I know a man who can. Hallelujah. When we sing this next chorus, amen, if you sitting by someone, amen, would you sing this part to them when we get to it, amen? If you think that no one loves you, amen, and your life is out of hand, I know a man who can, amen. So we, when we get to that part, amen, could you sing that to somebody, amen? Hallelujah. Mm. Some call him Savior, the Redeemer of all men. I call him Jesus, for he my dearest friend hey friend if you think that no one loves you and your life is out of hand oh I know a man who can let's see if this works amen if you think that no one loves you and your life is out of hand. Oh, I know a man who can. Amen. Can we say his name as our pastor's coming around? Can we say his name? Can we lift up the name of Jesus? What's his name? Hallelujah. Who do you call when you're in trouble? Amen. Who can help you? Come on, amen. Who can help you? Hallelujah. Amen. Only the Lord. Amen. Only the Lord. If you're going to get help, it's got to come from the Lord. Amen. Turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. Amen. I want to take a look at a, a little passage there. A very familiar passage of Scripture. Amen. Don't plan to hold you too long, just for a little while tonight. We want to take a look at the Word of God. Amen. And minister. Let me read verses 12 through 16. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 through 16. Amen. If you have it, stand with us. Reverence for the reading of God's holy Word, and we're going to endeavor to teach and minister tonight. Amen. What I feel the Lord has impressed upon my heart for this service tonight. The Word of the Lord in the book of Hebrews chapter 4. Verse 12 through 16, amen. So good to see each of you in the house of the Lord tonight, amen. Pray the Lord will bless you uh, abundantly, amen, for your endeavor to be in his presence, amen, tonight, hallelujah. Hebrews 4, 12 through 16, the word of the Lord declares unto us, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the hearts of the heart neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Verse 14. Seeing then that we have a high, a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. Somebody say mercy. And find grace. Somebody say grace. To help. Amen. To help. Somebody say, help me, Lord. And help in the time of 
need. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, we love you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your blessed word. We ask God that you would touch, uh, Lord, my vocal cords, touch my mouth, touch my mind, God. Anoint me, use me for your glory. Let our hearts be open, receptive unto what thus saith uh, the word of the Lord, God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, uh, that you would speak unto us, Lord. Let us hear what the Spirit is saying, O oh God. Uh, Holy Ghost, raise a standard against the enemy. Grant liberty for the proclamation of thy word tonight, Lord. Uh, let it accomplish that that you desire it to accomplish. We'll be careful to give you all the praise, uh, all the honor, and all the glory. For it's in Jesus' name we humbly pray. And everybody said, Amen. You may be seated, but don't sit down on the preacher. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to endeavor to teach a little bit tonight. Amen. And uh, sort of piggybacking on what we ministered on Sunday. On Sunday morning, I preached on the topic, Growing in Grace. And I talked about three necessary ingredients. We talked about how it was important that we had the Word, studied the Word, desired the Word, meditate on the Word, and so forth. And then I talked about life experiences as also, amen, and, uh, a necessary ingredient for growing in grace. And then we talked about prayer. In this passage here tonight, amen, the first part of it deals with the Word of God, and the second part of this passage deals with prayer, amen, having a high priest that is touched by our infirmities, how that he desires, uh, amen, to meet our needs, and we can approach the throne of grace boldly through Jesus Christ, amen. We can come before our Heavenly Father and bring our petitions unto the Lord. Can somebody say amen? So also on Sunday evening, we talked uh, about remembering Lot's wife, and we talked about the importance, uh, amen, of pressing forward. We said it's not a time to be looking back. It's not a time to throw in the towel, but it's a time to press forward. So tonight I want to focus, uh, amen, on the Word of God, the importance uh, of the Word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. As we think about the Word of God, uh, Amen. We just have to think about the parable that Jesus gave about the sower of the seed. Amen. And the seed is the Word of God. And the seed, amen, was to find place on different types of hearts. Amen. Described as different types of ground. And one of the grounds was called wayside and another type of ground was called stony, and then another called thorny, amen, a place of thorns, and then finally there was a fourth type of soil or ground, and it was called good ground. Can somebody say amen? I don't know about you, but I want good ground in this heart. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to hear the word and receive the word, and I want the word to prosper in me and bring, amen, forth a harvest unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, amen, the wayside, the stony, and the thorny, and the good grounds are types of hearts, amen, that will, amen, that will receive the word of God. You understand? The word of God will be, amen, sown into these types of areas areas of people's uh, hearts, amen, hallelujah, but God wants us uh, to receive the engrafting of his word, amen, so if you look at this, there are four types of hearts, uh, and out of these, only three, out, out of these three-fourths, amen, won't have what it takes uh, to handle the word of God, but thank God, uh, his word is also like a plow, amen? His word is like an instrument, amen, that will break up the fallowed ground of the heart. Can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. Some of us, we were waysided, amen, hearts, and then we became stony-hearted, and then we had thorny hearts, amen, and then finally, after the word of God had begun to deal with us and work on us, amen, uh, hallelujah, amen, as the Lord was drawing us and dealing with us, uh, after a while, amen, that, that plow got deep into our hearts, uh, into our lives, and began to reveal us, uh, began to reveal, amen, myself unto me, and hallelujah, and, and I began to have a good ground, and amen, the seed of God's word began to take root, uh, amen, and begin to, uh, amen, to show me myself, and begin to show me what I could be, amen, if I would put my life uh, in the hands of God.
God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're talking tonight about the Word of God. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. I'm not going to get into the last portion of my text tonight. We'll talk about that maybe next Wednesday night, if the Lord permits, uh, dealing with prayer. But tonight we want to talk about the Word of God of God, the Word of God, amen, the Bible said the Word is of God is quick, amen, now I don't believe he's talking about it being fast, uh, amen, like as we think about something that is quick, amen, like a, a deer when it hears a noise when he's on the corn pile, uh, amen, and you make a noise by taking the safety of that gun off, uh, amen, that deer's ear perks up and he takes off, amen, now we're not talking about that kind of quickness, uh, amen, but the Word of God is quick. The Word of God is alive. The Word of God uh, is a living Word. The Word of God uh, brings life. Hallelujah. Amen. Life comes out of the Word uh, of God. So I believe that's what the writer is trying to help us to understand uh, is that the Word of God is a quick uh, Word. Uh, it's a living Word. We talk about, amen, the, the Logos, amen, which is the written Word. Uh, but also there is a Rhema. Hallelujah. There is a living Word. There is a quick word hallelujah and not only did uh, the Hebrew writer say that the word of God is quick uh, but it's also amen it is powerful it is powerful it's strong can somebody say amen tonight hallelujah the word of God is not just living but it's strong it's powerful amen and the Bible said it's sharper it's sharp amen the word of God uh, is sharp the word of God cuts the Word of God will break up. The Word of God uh, will cut into. Amen. Hallelujah. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Uh, and the Bible said, piercing even to the dividing uh, asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow and is a discerner. Hallelujah. The Word's not just quick uh, and powerful and sharp. Amen. But it's also a discerner. Come on. Amen. It's a discerner. It's not just a living word or a strong word or a word that will cut amen but it's a word that separates it's a word that separates the flesh and the spirit it's a word amen that reveals amen the flesh and reveals the spirit hallelujah amen so the word of God is quick it's a living word hallelujah it's a living word amen and it will revive come on amen hallelujah it'll revive it'll bring forth life hallelujah it's a strong word. It's a powerful word. Amen. And listen, it will reprove. Can somebody say amen? The word of God will reprove. Hallelujah. It cuts. It's sharp. Amen. And also it, it removes. Come on, amen. Hallelujah, it removes. It's like when I had that gallbladder problem. Amen, it was going to kill me. Come on, amen. I would wake up about uh, 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning, and for about two to four hours, uh, I would just be in agony and pain and throwing up till I couldn't throw up anymore until foam uh, was coming out of my mouth. And Charlene said, I'm taking you to the emergency room. And I said, no, uh, amen, I'm not going to the emergency room. After a while, after that dry heaving, and amen, and not being able able to rest and come into my wits end so to speak uh, amen crying out to the Lord but something had to be done uh, amen I said let's go to the emergency room amen hallelujah we went there and went through the process of the test uh, amen and that, that gallbladder would have killed me no doubt uh, amen but the surgeon had to come in and cut it out hallelujah he had to take it out he had to remove it amen hallelujah that's what the word of God will do in our lives uh, amen that sin that is meant to hurt us and to harm us uh, Amen. And to kill us. Amen. The word of God. Uh, if you'll let the word have its way, uh, it will, amen, remove anything uh, that would contaminate this body or the spiritual man. Uh, hallelujah. So it's sharp. Amen. It cuts. Uh, it removes. Amen. Not only does it do this, uh, amen, but as I said, it's a discerner and it separates the flesh and the spirit. In other words, uh, it's a revealer. The word of God reveals. Uh, come on. Amen. The word of God, it revives. It reproves, it removes, and it reveals. Can somebody give God some praise tonight? Amen. Thank God for the word. Hallelujah. I said thank God for the word. Amen. The word of God is what we need. It's like the scalpel in the skillful surgeon's hand. Amen. And when the fivefold ministry, amen, gets under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, amen, it's just like that skillful surgeon, amen, as he takes the the, the 
scalpel uh, and begins to work on that that is meant to kill uh, and to cause disease and he begins to cut and take it out amen to preserve life hallelujah and sometimes amen there's a healing process uh, amen there's some pain uh, amen there's some struggle but nonetheless amen uh, amen in the by and by as time passes uh, amen healing comes are you with me amen the word of God will come and accomplish the will of God hallelujah and sometimes it hurts us uh, amen but it also will heal us can somebody give him praise tonight hallelujah thank you Jesus I feel my help tonight hallelujah amen hallelujah the word of God thank God for his word amen listen to what Job said in Job chapter 23 verse 11 and 12 he said my foot hath slipped his steps he said his way have I kept come on amen you ever feel like you're standing on slippery ground but you know you've done all within your power and in your strength and in your understanding. Amen. To, amen. To keep the way of the Lord. Amen. You're trying to walk. Amen. Upright, pleasing unto the Lord. Uh, but it just feels like you're on slippery ground. And amen. Everything you do, trying to do right, it seems like it turns out wrong. Amen. Hallelujah. But he said it. I have not declined. Amen. Job said, I haven't. Amen. Backslidden. I haven't fallen away from the Lord. Uh, he said, Neither have I gone back from the commandment of His lips. In other words, I, I kept the word of God. Hallelujah. He said, I've esteemed the words of his mouth. Uh, amen. More than my necessary food. He said, I've neglected, uh, amen, nourishment to my body uh, because my soul was longing after the Lord. Uh, amen. My soul was hungering after the Lord. Uh, my soul was thirsting after the Lord. Uh, amen. I was uh, longing and yearning, uh, amen, for the presence presence of the Almighty, uh, amen, to experience the Shekinah glory, and so, amen, uh, I had to give up my food, amen, because I just needed to feel his presence, uh, amen, and so I got into his word, uh, and his word got into me, uh, amen, I was just saying, God, just speak to me, God, just whisper to me, uh, I don't understand where I'm at, I feel like I'm in a slippy, slippery place, amen, uh, but I've not declined from your word, uh, I'm trying to keep your commandment I'm not going back from it uh, amen and, and I desire your word uh, more than my necessary food uh, hallelujah I'm hungry for the word of God can somebody give him praise uh, in his house tonight amen the word is essential to the spiritual man amen as water and food and sun are to the physical to the natural man the word of God is essential, hallelujah, to the spiritual man. Can somebody say amen? Isaiah says it like this in chapter 55, verse 10 and 11. He said, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, he said, and returneth not hither, amen, or thither, he said, but watereth the earth. In other words, he's given a simile, amen, I guess that's what you would call it. He's comparing the word of God to the rain that falls to the earth, amen. He says that rain, that snow that comes down, that moisture, amen, comes to the earth and it doesn't return thither, but it watereth the earth, amen, and maketh it bring forth, amen, and bud, amen, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, hallelujah, amen. In other words, he's talking about how important and how precious uh, rain and snow or moisture from heaven is uh, when it comes down to the earth hallelujah and he says so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth hallelujah amen Isaiah the prophet is speaking the word of God uh, for the word of God uh, to the people of God amen I said uh, Isaiah the prophet of God uh, is speaking the word of God for God uh, to the people of God uh, and he says amen as the rain and the snow comes down uh, to accomplish the good pleasure of the Lord uh, in the earth amen to bring forth the bud uh, amen to bring forth the seed uh, to the sore and the bread to the eater he says so shall my word be that goeth forth uh, out of my mouth uh, it shall not return unto me void hallelujah but it shall accomplish uh, amen that 
which I please, praise God. Uh, and it shall, listen now, and it shall, not only will it accomplish and not return void, uh, but it shall prosper, hallelujah. Amen, in the thing whereto I sent it, hallelujah. Amen, aren't you glad that there's such power in the word, there's such production in the word of God. I don't know about you, but I want my heart uh, and my life to be a fertile ground, uh, amen, to receive the engrafting, uh, amen, of the word of God, hallelujah, amen, that I might become a branch of the Lord, uh, that I might be a seed producer, uh, that I might be a meat producer, that others might be able to get seed, seed uh, amen, to sow from my life, that others uh, might be able to get bread to eat uh, from my life, hallelujah, amen, because God sends his word, uh, amen, so that it will not return, the Bible says it will not return void, uh, amen, it will, listen, it will uh, accomplish that which he sends it forth uh, to accomplish that that pleases him, uh, amen, and it will prosper uh, in the thing uh, whereunto uh, he sends it, hallelujah, amen, God is wanting to bring forth a harvest uh, out of your life, come on, amen, the Bible said except, uh, amen, the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone, uh, amen, but listen, you've got to go through that process uh, of germination, come on, amen, sometimes uh, it feels like we're in the dark, uh, sometimes it feels like we're buried beneath the dirt, uh, sometimes it feels like we're rotting right there uh, in a hole in the ground, uh, sometimes we feel so low uh, that we have to look up to see the belly of the turtle, uh, amen, but I'm telling you there's something happening uh, on the inside uh, when we receive, uh, amen, the word of God, uh, and amen, our life becomes a seed in and of itself, uh, and it seems like we're dying, Sister Amy, uh, amen, that's a lie from hell, uh, you're not gonna die, but you shall live, uh, and you will arise again, uh, and you're gonna come up, hallelujah, and prosper unto the Lord, hallelujah. You're gonna bring forth seed uh, for the sower and meat uh, for the eater. Can somebody give him praise tonight, hallelujah. Hallelujah, tell your neighbor it's not over. Hallelujah, tell your neighbor it's not over. Hallelujah, it's not over. you just germinating, hallelujah. I said God is doing something miraculous. God is doing something marvelous. God is doing something wonderful. Hallelujah, just hold on, hold on. I said the morning is coming. Amen, the light is soon to break forth. Hallelujah, from the darkness. Can somebody... Give him praise tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The word is not empty, but it's effective and efficient. Come on, amen. It's effective and efficient. Sometimes we feel we receive the word and we're just dead. Come on, amen. But I'm telling you, before long, you're going to germinate. Hallelujah. Hold on, amen. What is it? What place it said? Just a scent of water. Come on, amen. Just the scent of water. Come on. Amen. I tell you, there's a sound of an abundance of rain. I said, God is about to send forth his rain. If you'll just hold fast, I know you feel dry and dead and twice plucked up. Amen. But the rain is coming. I said, the rain is coming. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Hallelujah. The rain is coming. Give God some praise in his house tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. To receive Christ means we receive his word. To receive Christ is to receive his word, amen? That's what John tells us in chapter one. He said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Amen. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. Amen. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. You just feel like you're dead. Come on. 
Amen. But if you've got the word in you, if Jesus abides, uh, amen, life is abiding inside of you. Amen. I'm telling you, that, that germination, we don't understand it. Uh, amen. Scientists have tried to germinate seeds. Uh, amen. Create the process of germination, uh, and they just can't figure it out. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. But I'm telling you, that's something that God has the blueprint to. Uh, amen. And we can't understand uh, how the, the red blood of Jesus, uh, amen, takes a, amen, a sin dark blackened heart amen that ruby red blood washes that heart white as snow come on amen we don't understand how a, a brown cow eats green grass and produces white milk come on amen some things are just hidden and some things are just by faith and you know it to be so come on amen hallelujah and I'm talking about germination is like transformation it's like a metamorphosis amen you can't explain it but you can't deny it. Hallelujah. I said when God gets in the arrangement uh, and the word of God uh, and the power of that germinating seed uh, of the word of God uh, finds a lodging place in a heart and a life, uh, it's going to bring forth uh, the life of Christ. Can somebody give him praise tonight? Hallelujah. The Bible said, listen, amen, the same was in the beginning with God. In verse 4 says, in him was life. And the life was the light of men. Amen. And the light shineth in darkness. Praise God. Hallelujah. You just hold on. Amen. Amen. The darkest hour is just before the dawn. And weeping may endure for the night. But joy is coming in the morning. The season of the soul will not always be winter time. It will not always be a time of dormancy. Amen. But I'm telling you. Amen. Hallelujah. Something is about to break forth. I said the church. Amen. Amen for the church of the living God. Amen. We've been dormant long enough. But I'm telling you something's about to happen. Amen. And the light of Christ is going to shine through us and manifest the glory of God. Hallelujah. It may be a dark hour. It may be a dark time. But I'm telling you the light of Jesus Christ is about to break forth. Amen. Through the body of Christ and manifest the glory of of God. Can somebody give him praise tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, listen, and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Amen. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. Amen. That all through him might believe. He was not that light but was sent to bear witness of that light. Amen. John was sent to bear witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. When he was baptizing in Jordan he looked upon the banks and he saw Jesus coming and he said behold the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you behold the light of heaven. Behold the word of God. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Come on. Amen. We are not that light but we are to manifest his light. We're to let the world know that the light is on the way. Amen. As John was declaring that he was the forerunner of the Lord Jesus Christ in the bodily form as a man come on you and I as the church and the bride of Christ are to manifest to this dark world amen that we are not the light but we're bearing witness of the true light and his name is Jesus can somebody give him praise hallelujah Hallelujah. He said that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him to them gave he power. Amen. To become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. He said which were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of 
God. Hallelujah. He said, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Amen. Full of grace and truth. He said, John, bear witness of him. Amen. Listen. And he cried saying, this was he of whom I spake. He that cometh before. Amen. After me is preferred before me. Amen. For he was before me. Amen. He said, and of of his fullness uh, have all we received uh, and grace for grace. Hallelujah. He said the law was given by Moses. Uh, amen. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. John bore witness of the coming of Christ. The church is to do the same thing that John did. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit of Elijah was upon John to turn the heart of the fathers back to the children and the heart of the children back to the fathers. Well, the bride of Christ, I believe, has the same uh, mandate. We're to turn the heart uh, of the children back unto the father and the heart of the father back unto the children. If the children will turn, if the children re will repent, uh, then God in heaven will turn. Uh, God will repent. Uh, amen. Of the judgment, uh, of the wrath that he's going to pour out. Uh, and I'm telling you, God will make manifest his glory. Amen. So if we'll turn, then God will turn. And the message of the church in this dark hour, amen, is behold, amen, the bridegroom cometh. Amen. Jesus, we are not the light, but we come to manifest the light. And his name is Jesus. He's not coming as a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, but he's coming, amen, as potentate. He is king of kings and Lord Lord of lords, can somebody give him praise in his house this evening, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, he is king of kings and Lord of lords, you know, noble people still receive the word, amen, amen, wise men still seek Jesus, amen, noble people receive the word, that's what it tells us in Acts chapter 17, Verse 10 and 11. The Bible said, And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea. Amen. Who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. Amen. These are more noble. Amen. Luke said, he's recording this in the book of Acts. These are more noble than those in Thessalonica. In that they did what? What makes them more noble? They received the word. Come on, amen. God's looking for some noble people out there in the midst of all the darkness. And it's up to us, the, we that are the bride of Christ, the forerunner of Christ, to pronounce the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're to, amen, share the word of God and proclaim the word of God. Amen, that the word would find place in that good ground into the noble hearts. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen, because noble people receive the word. And that's what the book of Acts is telling us. Luke, uh, the historian, the physician is telling us, uh, amen, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word. Hallelujah. I'm telling you the most noble, the most wise, people in this world will receive the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we must receive the word. Hallelujah. If we're going to have the word germinate in us, uh, if our lives are to go through that process of germination, uh, if we're going to manifest the light of Christ, uh, if we're going to produce seed uh, for the sowers, uh, if we're going to produce bread for the eaters, amen. Hallelujah. We've got to, amen, seek the word of God uh, and let the word of God be planted into our lives uh, that we may produce a harvest uh, unto the Lord. Can somebody say amen? He said, and that they receive the word of God with readiness of mind. Readiness of mind. Amen. That they receive the word with readiness of mind and search the scriptures daily. Somebody said, man, y'all go to church often. Somebody's there almost every night. People praying, people doing Bible study. What's going on? Amen. I'm telling you, we're just getting ready for the coming of the Lord. 
We're just trying to tell the world, amen, that's in the midst of darkness, amen, that there may be some noble people out there that will receive the word of God. And so we've got to get the word of God in us because when you get full of the word of God, it'll be like Jeremiah, like somebody declared tonight, I believe. It's like fire shut up in the bones. I'm not going to say anything else on that job. I'm not going to say anything else in that break room. I'm not going to say anything else at that fountain on the job. Amen, in the parking lot at the job. Amen, I'm telling all of them are heretics, amen. They don't want to hear the word. They're apostates. I'll never speak the word. And what do you find yourself doing on the next day? Amen. But telling them about the love of Jesus. Amen. You can't help it. But when the word gets in you, amen, it's like fire shut up in your bones. And the light and love of Jesus will flow through you as a channel unto those seeking out those in the darkness that may be noble, that may desire the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So you and I ought to be faithful ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Can somebody give him praise? Hallelujah. They, they searched the scriptures daily. Amen. Whether those things were so. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to search the scriptures. Jesus said, search the scriptures because in them ye think ye have eternal life. Not only that, they are they which testify of me, he says. Amen. So if we're going to grow in our, the knowledge of the Lord, amen, we got to search the scriptures. Can somebody say amen? Now let me look at Psalms, Psalms 19 and Psalms 119. These are great passages dealing with the word of God, amen? The word of God is powerful, amen? So we're trying to understand tonight that uh, the word is one of the essential ingredients, as I preached on Sunday morning, about growing in grace. We need the word of God. Can somebody say amen? So listen to what the psalmist says in Psalms 19, verse 7. The Bible says, the law of the Lord. That's the word, right? The law. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony. That's the word, isn't it? The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. Come on, amen. Amen. The statutes, that's the word. The statutes of the Lord, amen. Listen, are right, rejoicing the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. The commandment or the word of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Come on, amen. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. And the judgments or the word of of God. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous all together. Come on, amen. The word of God is perfect. The word of God is sure. The word of God is pure. The word of God is right. The word of God, amen, it brings forth truth and righteousness. Hallelujah. And the word of God brings warning to the servant. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. He said, more of a by them Amen. It's sweeter than the honeycomb and more of a by them. Amen. Thy servant is warned and in keeping of them there is great reward. Amen. The word of God brings the reward of God. Come on. Amen. I don't know about you but I want the favor and the blessing of God in my life and in order to have that, amen, it's the word. It's the law of the Lord. It's the testimony of the Lord. It's the commandment of the Lord. Amen. It's the, amen, the judgments of the Lord. In other words, it's the word of the Lord that will pass on to us, amen, the rewards of the Lord, the favor and the blessing of the Lord. Can somebody give him praise? Hallelujah. Amen. He said, listen. He goes on, he says, listen. We can understand, uh, uh, who can understand his errors? Who knows your errors? Come on, amen. Amen. I'm not with you all the time. But I'm telling you, if you get in the word of God and the word of God begins to walk with you and talk with you, come on, amen. And begin to reveal to you, amen. Didn't I say that, amen? The word of God, it, it, it revives us. It reproves us. It removes and it reveals, amen, the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So he says here, cleanse thou me from secret faults. Come on, amen. I don't know what you're doing in secret. 
But God knows. And so the Word of God is like water to wash us. It's like water to bathe us. Come on, amen. That spiritual man can't stand to be, amen, dirty. Come on, amen. If you get in the Word of God and the washing of the water begins to flow, amen, it reveals the secrets of your heart, the secret faults. He said, keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Come on, amen. Many, I preached the message a while back on many of the people in the Bible, how they presumed because of their role and their position and their calling uh, that they could get by with things. Come on, amen. But I'm telling you, amen, we cannot presume anything. Uh, amen, we must understand that we'll face the judgment of God. Uh, amen, we'll be cursed with a curse. Uh, amen, unless we allow the word of God, uh, amen, to reveal unto us the secret faults. Uh, amen, and keep us from presumptuous uh, sins. He said, let them not uh, have dominion over me. Uh, amen. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. He said, let the words of my mouth uh, and the meditation of my heart, uh, amen, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, uh, my strength and my redeemer. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I want to get the word of God hit in my heart to such a measure that whenever I speak is laced with the word of the Lord. Amen. I want the word of God so, amen, founded within me, amen, that the word of God seasons my speech. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. That, that, that my walk lines up with the word of God. Can somebody give him praise tonight? Hallelujah. Psalms 119, listen, verse 8. He said, I will keep thy statutes. Amen. He said, oh, forsake me not utterly. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? He said, by taking heed. Come on, amen. By taking heed. Now that word taking heed, those two words together, doesn't mean just listening to, but it means following after. Are you with me? Amen. So by taking heed thereto according to thy word. In other words, it means to line up with. Are you with me? So we're going to take heed. We're going to line up with the Word of God. Amen. Bless God. I'm not going to do what the pastor said. Amen. That's all right, but you better do what the Word says. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. If the Word of God says it, you better line up with it. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. You better line up with the word of God. Hallelujah. He said, with my whole heart have I sought thee. He said, oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. The psalmist says, thy word have I hid in the heart that I might not sin against thee. He said, blessed art thou, O Lord. Amen. Teach me thy statutes. Let me learn the word of God. Hallelujah. Let me hide the word in my heart. Let me meditate upon on the word of God. I've got to desire it. Amen. I've got to long for it. I've got to live for it. I've got to, amen, meditate upon it. I've got to eat of it every day and grow in the word of the Lord. Can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. 2 Timothy chapter 2, 15 tells us what the psalmist is telling us. Study. Come on, amen. This walk is not for the faint at heart. Amen. Come on, amen. You're going to have some times of weariness. You're going to have some times where, amen, you just don't want to take another step. But you've got to make up your mind, amen, to study to show thyself approved unto God. Amen. Study to show thyself approved unto the church. Study to show thyself approved unto the pastor. You're not going to give an account to the church. You're not going to give an account to the pastor, but you're going to stand before Almighty God. So you've got to study to show yourself approved unto God. Can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. He said, a wordman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. I love what Joshua said. This took me through medical school. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what I did? Amen. I, the God's promises, we gave the church some of those from different times. Amen. The Lord promised me books. Amen. Some people talk against them because they said that's taking out some of the word of God. But I, I needed that. Amen. You understand? I understood that's not the whole counsel of God. But I understood that that dealt with matters and issues that I would face in day-to-day -day life. 
And so, amen, just like in my white coat when I was going around and learning about diseases and how to treat different things and different medications and therapeutics, amen, and I had all these little books in them, different pockets. We just have pockets all over, amen, because we, we were learning. Come on, amen, as an intern, as a resident. So we had a medical student. We had pockets all over that white jacket, amen, hid, hidden compartments, and we had all kinds of stuff. If I needed to read an EKG, brother, LJ, I just pulled out a little slip, amen. After a while, I didn't have to reach for it anymore. After I read so many of them, amen, are you with me? After I saw the disease so often, amen, I didn't have to go to the book, amen, hallelujah, amen, but I, I remember a lot of times I would face situations and circumstances, uh, amen, loneliness and tiredness and weariness, uh, amen, uh, hallelujah, so I would have to pull out that promise me Bible, come on, amen, it was just as uh, important of an instrument to me, amen, as an EKG reader, come on, amen, and so I would read that scripture on anger, come on, amen, I would get upset with somebody and so I'd have to read about being upset and angry. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes I didn't have enough uh, money to get some lunch that day and stomach growling and talking to me. Come on. Amen. Didn't know what I was going to do and so I had to read about uh, how God wants to bless my finances. Amen. And how sometimes I just need to fast. Are you with me? Amen. So I'd read different topics from the, the book of promises. Amen. And it was King James Virgin scriptures. Uh, amen. To give me uh, powerful scriptures, powerpoints uh, for living. Amen. And so it was just as important. I'm telling you, the Word of God, amen, has an answer to every life problem. Every problem, there's a solution in the Word of God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if we just learn, amen, to take it to the Lord in prayer, and amen, as we get to the Lord in prayer, He'll remind us of a Word, and as we find that Word and research it out, amen, that Word will get into us. Amen. After a while, we don't have to reach for the Promise Me Bible. Amen. All of a sudden, it just comes up and the Holy Ghost uh, brings our remembrance that scripture uh, and we begin to declare that word uh, and we bring this body and beat this body into subjection to the Spirit of God. Come on, amen. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Amen. The more you get in the Word of God, the more the Word of God gets into you. And there'll come times when you won't have the Word available. Amen. Amen. Literally speaking, but I'm telling you, it will be available in the heart and the Holy Ghost at the self same hour will bring to your remembrance. Amen. That Word that is sure, that Word that works. Amen. That word that is powerful, that word that is sharper than any two-edged sword, uh, that word that divides asunder, uh, amen, that word, uh, amen, that cuts to bring healing, uh, amen, are you understanding what I'm saying, uh, amen, that word of God uh, will reveal your heart, uh, amen, to yourself uh, and reveal the mysteries of God uh, on how to deal, uh, amen, with the brokenness of your soul uh, and to have it fixed uh, in the hands of God. God, can somebody give him praise tonight? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So Joshua, this is one of my favorite scriptures. Amen. I'm telling you, this is one I memorize early. Amen. Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of, my, out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Amen. Meditate therein day and night. Amen. Got to meditate on the word day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Amen. He said, for then thou shalt have, amen, or thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have, then thou shalt have good success. Come on, amen. Anybody want good success? Anybody want to prosper in the economy of God? Now, I'm not talking about prospering in this world. I'm talking about prospering in the economy of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to prosper in the economy of God, uh, amen, I'm telling you, if you get the word of God in you, uh, amen, and meditate upon the word day and night uh, and observe to do according to all that is written therein, uh, then shall ye have, uh, amen, good success. Amen. He'll make your way prosperous, uh, and he'll give you good success. Can somebody say amen? Amen. I want success in the Lord. Amen. I don't want success in this world, but I want success in the Lord. Amen. Are y'all with me? Hallelujah. Look at Psalms 119 again, verse 98. It says, Thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser. Wiser than my enemies. Mine enemies. 
for they are ever with me. Thy word is ever with me. Praise the Lord. He said, through thy precepts, which is another word for the word, through thy precepts I get understanding. Somebody else said, man, if I was you, I would have just let them have a piece of my mind. Amen. But you standing there and sitting there with understanding. Come on, amen. Understanding that God said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will recompense. Amen. Overcome evil with good. Amen. Love, and it'll heap coals of fire upon their head. Amen. Love shall cover a multitude of sin. Are y'all with me? So you're just sitting there in wisdom. Amen. And understanding. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the Word of God will do. He said, Therefore I hate every false way. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy testimonies of the Word have I uh, taken as an, as an heritage forever. He said, For they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes of the word. Amen. Always. Amen. Even unto the end. He said, Uphold me according to thy word. Come on. Amen. I'm telling you, the word of God will sustain us. The word of God, it's efficient. It's effective. It is sustaining. Come on. Amen. He said, Listen, uphold me according unto thy word. He said, I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimony. In other words, God, I want to understand your word. I'm not just in it for a marathon to read the Bible through in a short period of time, but I want to meditate upon every verse and every passage and every story and every example and every thing that is meant to teach me. Oh, God, help me to meditate upon what you're trying to say to my heart and produce in my life. Amen. Help me, God. Amen. To love thy commandments commandments above gold. That's what the psalmist said. He said, therefore, I love thy commandments. I love thy word above gold. In other words, I'm not going to work that extra shift on Sunday because I'm longing for thy word. Amen. I'm not going to, amen, work on Wednesday night because I need to be in the house of God. Amen. To eat of thy word. Hallelujah. He said, yeah, above fine gold. He said, therefore, I have esteemed all thy priests Precepts, uh, amen. Listen, I, I esteem all thy precepts concerning, uh, amen, all things to be right. Uh, he said, and I hate every false way. Uh, he said, thy testimonies of thy word, uh, amen, are wonderful. Uh, amen. Therefore doth my soul keep them. Uh, he said, the entrance of thy words uh, giveth light. Come on, amen. I'm telling you, if you feel like you're in the ground uh, and covered over and you're rotting there, amen, uh, that is not the end. Amen. The light is going to spring forth. Hallelujah. Meditate upon the word. If the good word of God has been received in the good ground, it may seem like it's over, but germination is taking place and light will be made manifest. Hallelujah. He said the entrance of thy words giveth a light. Hallelujah. It giveth understanding unto the simple. Amen. I'm closing now. He said order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Verse 138 he says thy testimonies or thy word, amen that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. He said thy word is very pure. He said therefore thy servant loveth it. Hallelujah. Amen. The righteousness of thy testimonies or thy word is everlasting. He said, give me understanding and I shall live. Come on. Amen. Maybe he is in a dark place. Maybe he is in the dirt. Maybe he is feeling like he's rotting away. Maybe he's there, but I'm telling you, he understands that the word of God is going to produce the light of God. Hallelujah. If we'll get the word of God in us to the measure that God desires. Amen. The great light of heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He will shine through us. Amen. And listen, he said, if 
I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. I'm telling you, it's through the word of God. Amen. Eating, amen, the body of Christ. Amen. Letting the body of Christ become a part of your being. Amen. Eating the bread of heaven. Amen. Scientists have proven that if you eat a piece of bread and mark it, it goes into every cell in your body. Every cell uses a part of that bread as fuel. Amen. To have power, to function. Amen. And that, that is how it is with the word of God. If we get the word of God in us, if we eat the body of Christ, amen, and let the bread of heaven, amen, become a part of every cell in our body. Come on, amen. I'm telling you, we'll walk right. We'll talk right. Amen. We'll act right. We'll treat others better than they treat us. Amen. Why? Because the light of heaven is shining through us. Can you give him praise in his house tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, the word is very pure. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Amen. He said, I cried with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord. I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, save me. And I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried. Praise God. I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches that I might meditate in thy word. Praise the Lord. Give God a hand of praise tonight. Amen. The word is quick. It's a living word. It's a word that will revive. Come on, amen. You may have a wayside heart or you may have family and loved ones that have wayside hearts, but, but the word of God is quick. It's a living word. It'll revive. Come on, amen. The word of God is powerful. It's strong. It reproves. Come on, amen. Amen. It'll take that stony ground heart and make it into good ground. Come on, amen. Amen. The word of God is sharp. It cuts. It removes. Amen. It'll take that thorny ground heart and make it into a good grounded heart. Amen? Hallelujah. The Word of God is a discerner. It separates the flesh from the Spirit. It reveals. It even works in a good grounded heart because it discerns. It reveals. Come on, amen? Hallelujah. The Word of God. Amen? God said it will prosper and that did he send it in. Amen? It would not return to him void. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Give God a hand for his word tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. God's word. God's word. Amen. We need the word of God. Can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. I said you need the word of God. Amen. Let us stand together. Amen. We appreciate you being in the house of the Lord. And I know some of us have already come to the altar. Amen. Charlene had asked you to come. Amen. We're going to make an altar right there at our seats just for a moment. Amen. And let us pray together and ask God to help us that even in our dark nights, in our dark seasons, that we would understand that something great has taken place, that God has still got us in his plan. Amen. And the light is going to shine through us. And there's going to be seed for the sower produced through our life. There's going to be bread for the hungry produced through our life. Amen. Others are depending on you to be a source of seed and a source of food or bread or fruit. Are you with me? God is wanting to use you. Amen. Come on, amen. Except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it will abide by itself. But when it dies out to itself, a shoot comes forth. Amen. And it produces fruit that has many, many seeds. The seeds are used for the sower to sow more seeds. The fruit is used by the hunger, hungry. Amen. To get sustenance. Are you with me? Amen. So God wants to use us. Amen. To produce seed. To produce bread. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, 
We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to be in your house tonight. Thank you for each and every one that has been under the sound of my voice. I pray, God, that your word has found lodging place in each heart. And, Lord, we'll begin to produce that harvest. Lord, I pray, God, that there would be a manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit in every life. In every heart that is under the sound of my voice, God. Lord, I pray that the gifts of the Spirit would operate in and through our lives. Lord, that you would just prosper your word in us. That other lives would be touched and helped for eternity, O oh God. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would let us just meditate upon your word. Let us receive the engrafting of your word. Let us meditate upon it, God. Let it bring forth the light of heaven. Let it manifest the glory of God. Help us, Lord. Father, we ask your blessing upon us. Keep us now as we go our separate ways tonight. Lord, bring us back at the next appointed time. Let your light shine through us. Let your love flow through us. Help us to make a difference. When others come to us, Lord, let them be able to be partakers of this fruit that is produced through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.